there should be one right here. There's one down below, I think. There's one by the brain. Okay. Can you do a summary of the story plot? <coughs> uh, not especially. A little bit uh, easier said than done with that. Okay, we gotta go to medical wing. Containment medical wing. What the hell is containment medical wing? I guess logistics and go to security. Yeah, there's a lot of crazy stuff, basically. Just crazy stuff happens. Uh, <coughs> your brother is part of said crazy stuff. And more crazy stuff. <laughs> oh, it's here. Wait. Okay, well, I'm dead. I guess I'm supposed to shoot my way through it. Yeah, I hope it gets a sequel, too. Oh, you need to do other mold quests for it? Well, then why would that be the first one? Would it be clear the clog? Oh, it's a completely different one. Oh. Doing these side quests is making me not like this game. <laughs> to be honest. Uh, well, where do I go? Because these are all the quests I have right now. Go to Emily? Alright, let's go to Emily. Oh, you can't fly here. That's annoying. Remember Mr. Tomasi, the head of communications? The hiss he was changed into showed up in containment near the turntable. I'll take care of it. That thing's not getting away this time. I've heard reports about his particular use of language and intonation when repeating the hiss babbling. The biological and behavioral distinctions between different hiss corrupted individuals is truly fascinating. I wonder if I could categorize the data. And she's already off on her own thing. I've been seeing these darling presentations all over. Seems like he enjoys the limelight. So you noticed, huh? When he recruited me out of college, he actually came to visit. He interrupted my physics course by shouting, uh, not quite, professor, and then marching down to the front of the class where he proceeded to berate the very idea of laws of thermodynamics. Hey, he's been a showboat all his life. Darling visited you in college? Yeah, he read a paper I'd published, came to recruit me for the Bureau. I accepted and then spent years waiting for access to the confidential research that Darling promised me. And whenever I ask about my access level, he just mumbles that it's temporarily postponed and then 
changes the subject to the effect of entropy on luck. I wonder who else Starling hit his work from. Marshall? Trench? One sec, my account's just got locked up. I wonder why that happens. There we go. I should get going. Don't let me hold you up. Oh, I could talk to her more? Jesse, when you were down in research, did you run into a Dr. Rhea Underhill? I didn't. Who is she? She was, is, a colleague of mine. A researcher studying a kind of extra-dimensional mold growing below research. Well, I don't like the sound of that. No one does. Look, I haven't heard from Rhea since the Hiss arrived. Would you mind having a look around for her next time you're in research? Of course. Thanks, Jesse. Now, what's on your mind? I should get going. Don't let me hold you up. Do you have another quest? Doesn't look like it. Alright. So, we got a couple quests from there. We got Old Growth. Research Underhill Lab. Um, is it right there? I'll go to Central and see if that's right. Below Central Research. That does damage to me, right? Oh. Well. Headshot boost and it's red. Holy shit. 120% headshot damage. Good lord. That's a winner. People are just hanging out in the mold. Areas under quarantine. I wouldn't go in there without talking to Underhill first. Excuse me. You have, are you lost? I still wouldn't go in. Do you normally barge into people's private workspaces? Yes. She clearly doesn't know who she's talking to. Shouldn't you be in a safe room? Why? Because of those hiss things the Rangers keep going on about. Haven't you people sorted that out yet? The situation down here could spell doom for the Bureau. You mean this mold? Correct. Perhaps you could help me. I require samples of various mold strains, and the mold has made the environment far too dangerous for me to fetch them myself. Really? Mold samples? I thought this could spell doom. It could, and it will, whoever you are. 
The mold is spreading. We need to find the source before it spreads too far. Any samples will do that? No. Samples of five unique strains, when blended properly, will allow you to travel deeper into the pit where I've pinpointed the approximate location of the source of the mold. Okay. So what do these samples look like? Similar to the one on my table there. I've made a list of the samples I need here. Hmm. You'll find them throughout the threshold. I'll take a look. My name's Jesse, by the way. I'm sure it is. <laughs> what the hell? Have you worked with Emily Pope? Our paths have crossed. Darling arranged for us to have a coffee. A meeting of the minds, he called it. She's talented. I can certainly see her doing well here. I feel like there's a but coming. But she's drunk a bit too much of the Bureau's proverbial Kool-Aid. She shouldn't be afraid to forge ahead on her own. Science is skepticism. Everything must be questioned before the truth can emerge. So is Darling your boss? If you insist on clinging to such outdated hierarchies, then... Yes. However, I would argue that our fields are too dissimilar for one to manage the other. Of course, Darling would much prefer to find his own miracle solution to the Bureau's fungal frustrations. He always needs to be the hero. So tell me again how you came to work at the Bureau? Well, like I, I said, was an I was alert. brought in as a special advisor. A temporary position, you see. Although that's not the whole truth. I was employed here for a time, straight out of university. After a decade of admittedly fascinating work in threshold research and regulation, I began to chafe under the bureaucracy. I needed a change. Not that academia was so different. And then the mold happened? About four months ago, yes. Since my departure from the Bureau, they hadn't been able to find my equal in threshold analysis. Darling and I had kept in touch over the years, meeting at conferences and the like. He called me, and I booked a flight. I've never been able to say no to a man with a dangerous alien biosphere. <laughs> I had to leave my post in the middle of term, but <coughs> so be it. So she's a professor. That explains a lot. The mold seems to be having some weird effects on things. Indeed. Even people are susceptible. The fungus grows rapidly within the chest cavity, killing the host. Luckily, one must ingest the stalks to become infected. Don't eat the mold. Okay. We've always cremated the infected bodies after autopsy, but I believe there may be another stage of maturity. A blooming, if you will. I never thought the word blooming would sound so horrible. Thanks for the information. My pleasure. All right. Uh, before we move on with this, actually, let's see. Are they all here? Oh, yeah. I think they're all here. All right. I'm going to run to the restroom real quick and uh, grab a quick snack, and then we'll continue with control. Uh, still plan to beat the game, but we have a little bit more side quest to go. So stick around. We'll be right back. Give me, like, I don't know, two minutes or so. Be right back.
All right. In a peanut butter sandwich. Hmm. Let's carry on then. What? No. No. Not that. But maybe. I hate guard duty down here. This place is fucking weird. This <laughs> is nothing. Box? No, that's weird. What's weird about a box? Now, are all these things here, chap? In this area? Second, sir. I don't know where I'm being shot from. This looks like a good one. Dude, this area sucks. <clears throat> Fresh corpses, toilets, and televisions. Oh, threshold. Army control point.
Hidden location, nice. I think that's the first time I've ever discovered that. I'm doing all right, Matt King. How are you doing? Fresh corpses, toilets, televisions. I haven't seen televisions. Toilets or fresh corpses. This looks like toilets, maybe. Wait. <clears throat> oh, here's TVs. One of Underhill samples. Just a <clears throat> what story of this game? Is she in the Matrix or something? No. It's paranormal bullshit. Uh, oh, that says restrooms. Let's go down this way. Corpses. <clears throat> Chat, where's the one for fresh corpses? By the control point? Okay. Do I need to I teleport back, back there? Now. I think I have to walk back there. effect on some people likely due to the fact it's not actually mold or even of this dimension I suspect it is the result of two incompatible molecular structures one dominant coming into contact I call it mold or fungus because it's closer in appearance and behavior than anything else we know except perhaps bacteria she reminds me of my old biology teacher 
Did you happen to meet any more members of my ranger detail? I didn't see any rangers. Just walking mold people. Unless... Yes. If you found mold people, you found my rangers. I refer to the creatures as hosts. They, like other unwary agents, succumbed to the appetite. But that's nothing for you to worry about. The pill I'm about to make with these samples will make the lower level perfectly safe to traverse. It has the added benefit of immunizing you against the pit's toxic spores. I feel like I should ask to see your credentials. There. That didn't take too long now, did it? Ingest this pill, then go and find the source of the mold. Only then <clears throat> can we begin to understand how to stop it. Take a mystery pill because a rude lady in a hazmat suit tells you to. Nice. Great idea, Jesse. Ugh. Honestly, did you want me to wrap it in cheese? <laughs> Not the taste, the smell. It stinks in here now. Good. That means the pill is working. The worse uh... it smells, the safer you'll be. Now go. Find the source. Thanks it's the for pit. The <clears throat> My pit. Pleasure. All right. Are we finished? To the pit. <sighs> okay. Let's find the sauce, chat. I hope those guys didn't respond. This must be the pit Underhill was talking about. <sighs> I already missed the secret. Dude, these things have so... Wait, level 9? Alright, fuck this. Good lord, level 9? Oh! Alright, you guys just do your exploding thing real quick. Everyone cool? Squad Captain Lopez, reporting on Expedition 17B. At the formation now, visually no distinction from the previous visit. The link detectors are still standing. Times can he miss? This area is giving me claustrophobia. <laughs> 